You're watching Spooky Noodles Channel. Subscribe or be my victim. Hello guys, what is up? It's your boy Spooky Noodles. And I am back with a book review. It's been, I don't even know how long it's been since I reviewed a book, but um, it kind of feels like it's been a little bit of a while. So I'm gonna say it's been a little bit of a while. <laughs> so yeah it's been a while um so i'm back with this review and today we're reviewing john athan's night of the prowler i listened to this on audiobook i own the ebook and i believe i own a paperback i, I can't recall i own a lot of john athan paperbacks and the ones that i don't own on paperback i own on ebook so you know but i listened to this one on audiobook and uh the, let me just get it out of the way because I usually forget to say this, but um, the narrator was great. Five stars for the narrator. Um, the narrator really, really did a good job. Like, nailed it. Like, have no problem with the narrator. And and, and I know this the, with that intro, uh, it's going to sound like I had a problem with this book, but I didn't. Um, I will review this book and give you my um, feelings about it. Um... We are in the new place, so if you hear a little bit of an echo, I apologize. Um, not really a good place to film this uh, review, honestly. There's not a good place, but you know what? Whatever. Um, yeah, so here we go. Night of the Prowler by John Athan. So um, I'm going to read the, the, um, the uh, synopsis. Then we will uh, move on to my review. Then I will tell you a little bit more. Um, I also listened to this all the way through, so even when he talked about the making of this book and stuff like that, I, I listened to that too. So, um, uh, yeah, um, I don't know why I'm telling you that. I, I, I like this. This audiobook is great. Um, but this is, this is, forget all that. Um, pretend I haven't said anything. Let's read the synopsis. So here we go. Assist the customers. Stock the shelves. Sweep the floors. Take out the trash. Survive the night. Zoe Doyle, an 18-year-old girl saving up for college and her first car, is working the night shift by herself at a secluded gas station for the first time. Her hopes for a normal night quickly diminish as she meets the local creeps. But she per preserves, uh, perseveres. Then she hears a new bulletin on, news bulletin on a radio. A suspected serial killer undergoing a psychiatric evaluation has escaped from a nearby mental institution. Alone and afraid, her imagination runs wild. Is he coming here? Did you already see him? Did I already see him? Is he watching me now, she thinks. Unbeknownst to her, she's correct. A hyper-violent serial killer known as the Prowler is heading her way, and he's killing everyone in his path. And then it goes on to say, John Ethan, the author of 2020's Do Not Disturb, brings you a shockingly new, uh, shockingly suspenseful and violent slasher inspired by the classics. Can you survive the night of the prowler? And then it gives out a warning that says, this novel contains graphic content. Reader discretion is advised. And yes, holy crap, that warning is needed. If you are not used to extreme horror, let me tell you right now, this is an extreme horror story. This is gory. This is just extreme if, if there was a novel to be extreme and you were like you know hey tell me an extreme novel you know where should i start with extreme horror well i'd be like well here you go here's an extreme horror novel here's a novella you know edward lee you know and all these other you know good uh you know extreme horror authors rat james white you know then they would ask what about john ethan and i'd be like oh that's a whole nother of extreme, you know? Um, John Athan is one of the most extreme authors I've read. Um, his stuff is very, very brutal. Um, I really like that aspect. Um, and to be honest, before I jump into my actual review, I'm going to say this, first of all, this rating is, I gave this book a four star rating but this could have been a five star easily if I was in the mood for an extreme horror novel. Um, I was not 
expecting. Now, I should have been expecting a, an extreme horror novel after reading Into the Wolves Den by him, but um, I, I've read two books by him. One was pretty tame, one was very extreme, and then I get this book, which is way extreme. So, um, yeah, I wasn't looking for an extreme horror novel. I heard that this played homage to the, uh, the um, um, classics. And I'm currently watching classics, um, the horror slasher classics. So um, I have, like, John Ethan says that this is like The Intruder and Black Christmas, two films that I plan to watch soon. Um, so I was going into this thinking that this is going to be like your classic slasher, you know, cheesy goodness. And it was not that, but we'll get into that in a second here. So I'm going to go to my review now on Goodreads, and we're going to read it. So here we go. Night of the Prowler by John Ethan was a good extreme take on the slasher genre. I did enjoy a ton of aspects of this book. I was looking for a slasher read, and even though this wasn't exactly what I had in mind, I still thoroughly enjoyed this one. This The, uh, the extreme scenes that this depraved novel has to offer are over the top, but in a good way. Like for instance, the first kills in this book, I won't spoil them for you, but listen to me when I say that they were brutal. My stomach was churning at a few of the kills in this one. Do I think this is a good slasher book? Eh, sort of. Sometimes the extreme scenes that this story has within its pages can make it very hard to enjoy this one as a slasher. Like, I was looking for a cool homage to the older slashers, the cheesy goodness they have to offer, and I don't know if I got that from this book. But I will say that John does a great job flexing that creative muscle he has and gives us uh, some, gr I, I, I said from, I meant to say some, great creative kills in this one it's weird i i read this like review like six times and i was like okay this is good <laughs> i guess i made some mistakes i gotta fix anyways is this one a great extreme horror story hell yeah yes sometimes the extreme scenes that this book has to offer can make it hard to enjoy this as a slasher novel but that's okay i like the fact he had an extreme slasher he made an extreme slasher story it was very gory and fun in a way. Overall, I did enjoy this a lot, this story a lot. I look forward to reading more from John Athan in the future, and I hope he continues his writing journey. Four stars from me. So yeah, um, so I've been watching a lot of slasher flicks. Um, sorry for this like this light that is coming through the blinds. It's kind of giving me that noir look. If I were to make this all black and white, I'd probably look like a noir picture right now. But, um, <sighs> like a detective story. But, um, whew, um, yeah, this one was very brutal, very extreme. There was some very graphic scenes in this book. Um, I really did like this one. Um, this one really pulled out. All the, this this didn't pull any punches is what I'm trying to say. Um, balls to the wall horror. You know, John Athan does an amazing job. He, you know, he at the end of the book, he did talk about, you know, you know, where's the character development? He said that that was going to be a problem that most people had. I didn't really have that problem, to be honest with you. I thought there was pretty good development in this story. But then again, I, maybe I'm just, I don't know, weird. I didn't think that, you know, I felt like the characters developed like they, they should have. Um, I feel like the storyline was great. I have no beef with this book. The only reason why it's not a five-star read was because I was a little, like in the beginning, I was a little flabbergasted because I was thrown for a loop. I was expecting an homage to the slasher films, but John Ethan came with a right hook and a left hook and made me dazed. And I was like, whoa, this is an extreme story. So, yeah, I just recently read uh, Bloodlands by Brian G. Berry. That's a slasher book. <laughs> and I'm not saying this one isn't a slasher book. It totally is. But 
that's what I was looking for. I was looking for a slasher book of, in the sense of Bloodlines, like by Brian G. Barry. But um, uh, sorry uh, if the video uh, lags there. I apologize. My phone's dying, and a little notification came up. But um, yeah, I was looking for a, a slasher, cheesy slasher story, and I got this. And um, I'm not, I'm not at all upset you know i'm not bummed i really did like this and the final scene the final well not the final chapter the climax of this book was thrilling it was really fun um i was like oh my gosh who's gonna survive who's gonna die who's gonna do this who's gonna do that this centers around one person mostly the final girl and sorry if that's a spoiler, there is a final girl. Most slashers have final girls, so there you go. Um, but um, yeah, I really liked this story a lot. And the mystery at the ending, you know, I'm not going to say anything. Maybe that's an, a spoiler in itself saying there's a mystery at the end. But um, I really did enjoy this story. Uh, this, this was a great one. Um, I totally recommend it if you're into extreme horror stories. This is graphic stuff here, so if you can't handle stuff like this, don't read it. Plain and simple. I do recommend it, though, to my gore hounds out there, you know. Um, this is exactly what you want in an extreme horror story. This is balls to the wall, like I said earlier. Um, this one doesn't pull punches. This one is just brutal, you know, and... It was fun, in, in a sense. You know, sometimes I was like, wow, that's too far. And also, I have one more thing to say. Um, this is nothing against John Ethan. Uh, for one, I actually, I absolutely love John Ethan's writing. Um, there's nothing wrong with the writing, by the way. Um, the writing's great. But there is one thing I, that kind of perturbed me just a little bit. Because I'm no, I'm no doctor, okay? And there's a few times when he says, oh, he splits his... Something, something, something ligaments or something like that. You know, he, he talks about some body part that I have no idea what it is. So it's hard for me to perceive what's going on sometimes. He does a good job sometimes at um, making you understand what he's talking about. But there is sometimes where I was like, I don't know. He's chopping into what now? You know, there was just there was a lot of like doctor terms. And um, it just kind of confused me and threw me for a loop at times. So, um, yeah, it was just one of those, like, you know, I was just like, what are we talking about right now? Like, I get it. He's, she, they're getting hurt, you know. But I don't, I never heard of these medical terms before, you know. These, these, uh, like, he, he, he it, it, I just, I didn't, I, sometimes it went over my head and it kind of, it didn't aggravate me, but it, it, I just was like, okay, I can't really visualize that, but I'm just going to imagine they're getting hurt in some way or shape or form. Um, John Nathan does do a good job at times describing it, you know, very well. I mean, he describes it to a T. So, um, yeah. But anyways, um, this has been my review for John Nathan's um, Night of the Prowler. Um, very, very good read. I highly recommend it to the gore hounds out there that love extreme horror, you know. If you like Aaron Beauregard, if you like um, Rath James White, oh boy. he This guy is extreme. So if you like extreme horror of any sort of kind, um, be prepared. Because even I think even the uh, veterans of extreme horror may struggle with this one. Um, because they're like, for me, I have like some, well, I won't get into it cause I don't want to spoil the book, but there are, were some scenes that made me squirm. Um, and like I said, I wasn't prepared for an extreme horror novel. Like I've been trying to not distance myself from extreme horror, not at all, but I have been trying to read more slashers, cheesy slashers watch cheesy slasher films you know so i've been in a slasher kick you know lately slasher flick kick that's hard to say a, fl a slasher flick kick that's hard to say say that three times fast i doubt you can but um that's a tongue twister but um yeah um great book i highly recommend it to the extreme horror uh fans out there and that's it so i hope you guys are having a great day i hope you have a spooky night 
I will catch you in the next video, which hopefully is a book mail. So, but it could be a writing vlog. We'll see. Um, peace out, guys. Have a great day. Spooky night and all that jazz. Peace out.